Welcome to the Mind, Body, and Soul Tuesday show, where we go a little bit deeper into a specific subject, from mental health, physical wellness, and spiritual stability, to the deeper topics such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. And now please welcome your host, Mind, Body, and Soul's very own, John Morris. Perspective. The way that we view the world based on the limited information we have. Perspective is a really, really powerful entity. It has the power to unite and the power to divide. It has the power to join and the power to break. Everything in life has a deeper meaning. If only one is brave enough and courageous enough to actually seek that meaning. Like this little fella here. This is called the Rubik's Cube. And for generations, it has given people around the world sleepless nights as they tried to solve and unlock its secrets and puzzles. Many people think that the Rubik's Cube is just a case of aligning all the individual colors on the individual faces of the square. But did you know that this Rubik's Cube has actually got the power to change the world? You don't believe me? Let's see. Here, we have the center of the Rubik's Cube. Every single Rubik's Cube is held together by a small ball right in the center. Its pieces are then connected on top, but the main focus is the ball. The ball is what we call ball-centric. In some religions, they would have their individual gods as the center of their existence. I want you to imagine that this little ball here is the very thing that unites us all. I want you to imagine that we are all held in place by the magnetism that is this ball. Now what I want you to do is to take an imaginary step back. You'll be directly opposite me. And that is really, really important, and you'll see why momentarily. So let's take a step back, shall we? In taking a step back, a few things happen. Our feet are now sealed where we are. We cannot move from this spot. All we have in our entire world is what's directly in front of us. There's darkness everywhere else except what's in front of us. And what's in front of us is nine squares. You see nine squares, I see nine squares, the person to the right, the person to the left, the person above, the person below, they all see nine squares. But as we'll see, even though things can be very, very similar, if you alter the degrees of perspective slightly, it can end up leaving things worlds apart. For example, in front of me, I may see on the top line two whites and a yellow. The person to the right of me may see two reds and a green. You yourself may see a red, yellow, blue combination. The person to the left may see something completely different as the person above and below will see something completely different. Over time, you may convince yourself that this is the view of the world and everybody else's view of the world is exactly the same as yours. But let me tell you now, you're fooling yourself if that is what you believe. Because as I've said, everybody has a different view of the world contrary to yours. What tends to happen is we get a known view of the world based on our limited knowledge and our limited understanding. And we conclude in our own minds that this is the way that the world is. We have the answer. Let me tell you first and foremost, anybody that ever says to you that they have the answer hasn't got the answer and probably hasn't got a clue. And the reason I say that is because the person who says I have the answer doesn't have the answer. They have an answer. They have one possible answer in a, in a limitless possibility of conclusions, of ideas, of thoughts. 
We only understand as much as what our limited view of the world will allow us to see. We only understand as much as what we know. Our understanding comes from what we know, what we've studied, the social circles that we've been around, our family life, where we've traveled to, what we read, who we listen to. Our perspective is minute. So how then can a person possibly say, I have the answer, when they don't look at all the different possibilities? As I mentioned right at the beginning, perspective has the ability to be able to unite and join together as much as it has the power to divide and break apart. Because what often happens is this, one person says, I have the answer. And anybody else who disagrees with that answer is wrong. And they cast away. But the question is this, just, just explore this with me for a second. If I saw my three squares on top, my, my two whites and a yellow, and I shouted out to the person to my right, what do you see? She may come back with, I see red, blue, and green. Oh, wow. Maybe, maybe the world isn't as simple as I first thought it was. If I say to the person to the left of me, what do you see? And they said, I see three yellows. And I did the same with you opposite me. And I did the same with the person above me and the person below me. Then we've opened the door to have a conversation. It's beginning to unite people. When you unite people, and you're willing to have a conversation based on their perspective, so many amazing things happen. Number one, it breaks down barriers. Number two, you can finally understand why a person has arrived at this point in time in the way that they have. You can understand why a person made the decisions that they made. Why a person felt drawn to a particular job or person or social living circumstance or even a geographic location you can understand for the first time ever why a person does what they do now that doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to agree with all their life decisions and all their life choices but at least if nothing else you will understand how they have arrived at this moment in time and the amazing thing is, they will understand how you have arrived at this moment in time as well. It brings us closer. When we are willing to see it from another person's eyes, another person's view perspective, it does something even more amazing. When you only see things through your view, your perspective, your understanding. You see a tiny, tiny fragment of a full picture. When you begin to ask other people what they see, how they understand the world, how their interpretation of the world may differ from yours. Because I'll tell you, someone that's born in West Africa is going to have a different view and opinion and perspective on life as opposed to someone that's born in Russia. And someone that's born in Russia is going to have a different view, perspective and opinion to someone that was born in the United Kingdom or Pakistan or Istanbul or, or the United States or Canada or France or wherever. We all have different ideas, but just because we all have different ideas, it doesn't mean that those ideas should separate us. Wherever possible, it is important, my friends, to try and understand how a person has ended up where they are right here, right now, in this moment. And when you do that, you get a much clearer view of the full picture. Perspective is everything.
And perspective has the power to unite us or divide us, break us or join us together like never, ever before.